Hi everyone, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to uh, ISEC tutorial on how to use the Expo platform uh, from ISEC UK. My name is James, and I am a vice president in ISEC in Bristol. And I'll be going through the process of how you lo uh, register and apply for projects on Expo. So it's quite simple, uh, but hopefully this will help you out during the process. So what we'll do is uh, we'll first obviously create a new user because we're all new users. So I'll just choose my email and then obviously fill in my name. If you're lucky like me, you have Chrome autofill uh, and then I put password, which obviously I'm not going to tell you guys. Um, and then university. So this will be the university you're at. So for me, it's University of Bristol. Register. So ready for your ice experience? Of course I am. Uh, so edit your profile. Uh, so what I'll do now is it asks me for date of birth. Uh, obviously fill in your date of birth. So I'll just put uh, the date today, which is the 12th, the 4th, uh, and uh, because what type of organization you're interested in, we'll choose community development projects because that's uh, the Go Volunteering program, that's what it offers. Uh, and obviously you choose your free interests for sake of the tutorial, I'll choose the top three, but you obviously will search more. And we also have the uh, entrepreneur, uh, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, so the global issues uh, as well. So free global issues that you can choose from. Uh, for sake of tutorial, I'll choose top three, but again, choose the ones that you're most interested in. And we'll click next. Sometimes what will happen is uh, the website will freeze at certain processes, so the best thing to do with this is to refresh the page. Um, Here we go, fantastic. So what I should do now is, yeah, we'll come up with your personal details. So what we do is we recommend you go through each one of these tabs and fill in all the information available. Um, and in particular, one thing to notice, I, I will point out some ones that you should definitely fill in, which is your nationalities, uh, your CV, and contact details you should fill in most of your contact details. Academic experience, please fill in full academic experience, uh, most relevant being university. Uh, professional experience, if you have any, please fill that in. Uh, skills, uh, so any if you, languages are very important, so if you have any uh, other languages that you speak, then please fill this in. Um, backgrounds and skills, very important as well. Preferences, so this is a very, very important page, do not miss this out because you won't be able to uh, continue on the process. Um, so obviously we've chosen fields of work and issues based on the what we're interested in uh, and what issues we're interested in. And yeah, so you put your earliest start date and your latest end date. So I'll put the 1st of June 2015 and the 1st of September 2015. And shortest duration uh, with ISET UK, uh, we offer six to eight week programs. So please fill this in with six to eight weeks. And region and country, so you can put what region you're interested in, what country you're interested in as well. So after you've filled this, we should be okay to save profile. So everything should be filled out with all the necessary information. And obviously it guides as well you through the process. So just go through that again. So once this is done, uh, you can click home. And it'll say, hello, James Fenson, which is my name. Uh, set your program. So volunteering experiences or internship opportunities, uh, because we're on the Go Global Volunteering Program, we'll choose volunteering experiences. Are you ready for volunteer experiences? Yes, I am. So go to here. And you can, what we'll do is it will come up with a list of projects you can choose from with different countries, Russia, you can see Brazil. Um, and 
This will also be based on the preferences that you've chosen. And also we have more filters here, so you can filter the list uh, based on all these filters on the right hand side here. And you can show more filters, so more information. We also, if you want to go to here, you can edit profile here. So you go back to the profile stage and can edit that. We have my applications, which will show applications that you've applied for and log out. So let's just choose, for example, we choose this project. And you can see all the information, key information here, six weeks, uh, different skills, languages, backgrounds you can look at, and the job description. Please read through all of this before you apply. Uh, and once you've completed your application, you should email your uh, EP manager uh, to say that you finished your profile on Expert, and they will uh, mark you as finished on their side of the website. And you should be able to click this button, which is Apply Now. And what that'll do is it will send all your information to uh, the uh, ISEC entity which is running this project, and they will. Uh, process that application, see if you're suitable for the project and will allow you to uh, continue if you are and they will send you something called an acceptance notice and this will <coughs> sorry, this will be uh, for you to fill out and it's basically just a contract to show that you agree with what the uh, ISA entity is offering for you in terms of a project. So for that's later on the stage and that will be guided through with your EP manager. So we can go back here uh, so this again is back to the volunteering section and I've been through everything here so if you have any issues definitely contact your uh, EP managers or contact anyone or contact your VP of your local entity. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching and I hope you have a great volunteer experience abroad this summer. Thank you.